At your chon salad. My name is Karin. I work as a chef at a hotel. Table three, the duck confit. Ma'am! We've got an order of fish and duck, please. Coming up. Phew, the AC isn't working well today. One day during break. Hey, Karin san, I've always been a little curious. Where did you get that scar in your cheek? Huh? Oh, this one? Hey, Akane! That's rude! <laughs> it's all right. I think the makeup fell off because it was too hot. I whoa, fell over whoa, when whoa, I was playing whoa, on a gravel road. There was a piece of glass that just cut my face. Oh, really? That sounds so painful! You really shouldn't be asking that kind of thing like it's nothing. I was just so curious. <laughs> it's a lie, though. I didn't get this scar from falling over. I got this injury when I was two years old by my father. Years whoa, ago. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Shut up! You need to shut the hell up! No! Don't hurt Karin! What the hell are you talking about? It's all your fault for not taking better care of everything! <laughs> Karin! <laughs> Don't worry, sweetie. I'm gonna take care of it real quick. This is the scar that still remains on my face after I grew up. As a result of this injury, my mother decided that it was time to split up with my father. I live with my mother happily with no problems. Most people didn't mess with me for living in a single mother household, but I just told them the same reason I told Akane when asked about it. So your father never paid child support and hasn't reached out to you at all? Seriously, I don't even know if he's alive or dead. Whatever the case, I think it's best if you just stay away from him. Yeah, I'm not interested in continuing the relationship with him at all. Oh yeah, Karin. I'm gonna switch the subject real quick, but... Hmm? What is it? My friend said he knows some people at the bank, so he'll help us out. What? Really? That's awesome! That would help us around the funding. Right? Recently, whoa, 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 my husband, whoa, whoa. who is also a chef, and I have been talking about starting our own restaurant. Later on, we headed to a bank that was introduced to us by a friend to secure the funds to open our business. So, we're just talking about it today, right? Yeah. Hello. I will be handling your case today. I'm Hiragi with Sales. Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. I'm sorry. The branch manager is going to be a little late. I'm so sorry. But if you could hang on just a little while longer... Oh, it's no rush. Don't worry. Ten minutes later... Oh, sorry to keep you all waiting. Sorry. I was just a little busy. I'm the branch manager, Akamatsu. Nice to meet you both. I'm Kuroki. Nice to meet you. Hmm? Akamatsu? Akamatsu. That's the same last name as my father. Wait, his last name is the same too? The kanji is the same in everything. Huh? Is something wrong? Uh, oh, it's nothing. So anyway, let's talk about the loan. Oh, sure. I was curious about this branch manager who had the same first and last name as my father. That's because it wasn't exactly a common name. No way is this really my father. But my father's in Kyushu. So he moved, maybe? He's remarried, too. It might really be some random person who's just got the same names. Let's dig a little. I started asking him about some things. Um, are you from Kyushu? Uh, yeah, I am. How could you tell? I'm also from Kyushu, so I could kind of pick up on the accent. Oh, really? That's incredible. I can't tell at all. Whereabouts of Kyushu are you from? Nagasaki. Oh, hey, me too. You know, there's something that really resonates when it's someone that shares a hometown. By the way, I'm from Etra City, and I used to work at the city office there. I knew it. It's him for sure. This man is my father. So, where are you from? I... I'm actually from Etra City, Hanada Town. What a coincidence. My maiden name was Akamatsu as well. Huh? Karin? Really? Who knew there could be such a coincidence? What a small world we live in. I didn't expect anything else, but he pretended he didn't know anything. And I wasn't going to bring up the past here, so I just left it alone. It's not like anything changes after meeting up with him here. Well, I'm going to be leaving now. Please, let Hiragi handle the rest. Thank you. Did we do something to upset you? Huh? Oh, nothing. Okay, great. 
That's how we talked about the loan and disbanded for the day. My husband knew immediately that that was my father. I didn't expect him to move to the Kanto region. Yeah, you have no idea how surprised I was. So what are you gonna do? You haven't seen each other for over 30 years, right? I'm not going to do anything. That's it. I never want to deal with that piece of shit in my private life again. I see. A few days later. Hmm? I don't know this number. I wonder who it is. Hello? Karin? It's me. It's your dad. <sighs> my father called me asking to see me again. You have no idea how surprised I was to stumble into you like this. You've really grown up. Your eyes are so wide, just like mine. So, what do you want? You dumped me 30 years ago, didn't pay child support, and didn't reach out to talk to me. And you're sitting here talking about how you want to see me? Uh, well, I actually haven't told anyone that I was married once. Uh-huh. Ah, the people at work don't know either. That's why I don't want you to tell others that you're my daughter. Especially to my wife and kids. What? Wait, you're serious? Your wife doesn't know that you had a divorce? Yeah. Please, Karin. Just for me. This man. I thought maybe he would be a little better, but... He's still just as much of a piece of shit. Why would I care about how you feel? Are you dumb? Uh-huh. I understand that you wouldn't want your family to know about what was going on. It would be quite the debacle. I heard that you're about to retire. And you're actually going to be staying at your workplace as a mentor, too. How did you- Does it really matter at this point? I don't know. It really would be a problem for you if they found out about it, huh? And besides, you're a man with a history of domestic violence and you scarred your two-year-old child's face. Imagine what would happen if they found out. <sighs> okay! I'll pay the 20k that I owe you in child support that I never paid for! I'll give it to you up front, so don't worry! That's one thing that you owe me, but I think there's other stuff too. Whatever. I'll try to be positive about it. If that's all you've got for me, then I'm going to go home. Please don't contact me unless you absolutely need it. Wait! Hang on, Karin! Do not tell anyone! Promise me! I left that day without giving him an answer. But I didn't have any intention of telling him. I wasn't going to be taking any of the money that he was going to offer. I don't want to deal with him and it's just 20k. I'm not going to just let him pretend like that's enough to wipe away his history. Whatever. I'm sure he'll be afraid and struggle to sleep at night. <laughs> Serves you right. However, a few days later, something happened. Hello? Karen, you piece of shit! I kept telling you how much I couldn't afford you telling them! How could you?! What, what are you- Don't play dumb with me! Thanks to you, my house and workplace life are all torn up! You said something you really should have left alone! I'm never going to pay you anything! This was a complete shock to me. I haven't even told my husband Kuroki about any of this. Kuroki, did you tell anyone anything? No, of course not. How are you going to make up for this? My <laughs> wife is pissed off and my kid won't answer her phone! You better take responsibility for this! This is defamation! What? If you hadn't said anything, I- I said I didn't say anything! And it's all your fault anyway. What the hell are you talking about defamation? Are you some kind of stupid? <laughs> and just so you know, I haven't contacted your workplace after the last time we spoke in person. And I don't know where you live or your current family. Uh. Whatever. We're going to go to a different place to find a loan, so don't ever contact me again. <sighs> he really is as bad as you say, isn't he? Yeah, but I'm sorry. We're back at the beginning for the loan. I don't care about that right now. I can figure it out. I wonder who leaked the information, though. You haven't told anyone, right? Yeah, that's the weird part. I haven't talked to anyone about it, but how did they find out that we were related? I found out a few months later. Karin! I figured out who spread the information! What? Who was it? I called Katsura, the one that introduced us to that bank. But apparently, Hiragi-san was the one that spread the information. Huh? Hiragi-san as in the sales guy for the loan? Yeah. From what I heard, him and Kuroki's friend, Katsura, were good college friends, and after the rumors spread, he got a call from Hiragi-san. Apparently, that branch manager has been doing all kinds of harassment within the bank. Hiragi-san was also being constantly bothered by him. Then he started figuring out your relationship with Akamatsu-san. Alright, 12 p.m. at the restaurant. Be there. He was listening and recording the entire conversation before he sent a copy of it to his wife. He said that he wanted you to know, 
so he told Katsura to tell me and... Yeah. Uh, I see. Hidegi-san seemed so calm, but he really went in. Afterwards, apparently Akamatsu-san was divorced by his second wife, and the kids were also sick of how she was being treated at home as well. I don't believe it. 30 years later and there's no difference. Really? I'm glad that I separated with him. I'm sorry for causing you so much trouble by marrying that man. <laughs> it's okay. I'm not that concerned. Anyway, I'm going to make sure the restaurant succeeds, so the second it starts to look good and things are going smooth, let's all go to a hot springs getaway. Yeah, I'd love that. Afterwards, I went to a different bank for a loan and opened up my restaurant. The store was pretty busy and it's going well. I don't know what happened to Akamatsu-san, but I'm sure all of his bad karma is catching up with him now. ご視聴いただきありがとうございました。過去にしたことを謝るでもなく、それどころか自分のことしか考えていない発言ばかりで救いようがないですね。そもそも人に恨まれるようなことばかりしてきた上に反省もしていないあたり、当然の報いな気も